Is so blood red inside your body? Yeah. Doctors, staff, yeah. guys, I'm, I'm so staff. Ready. It's blue. No, well, I'm, blo I'm blocking something. Well, we're doing oh, we're doing Halloween decor coming up next. Halloween decor coming up next. I'm blocking. Have you ever seen a uh, pumpkin on a stick? We'll show you that coming up next. Norm is going to show us how to decorate our homes for Halloween. is getting ready for fall. He's giving you some ideas for decorating your stoop. We want to feel festive this fall, Quincy. Yeah. Well, we're decorating right now. Let me get this out. Boom. I got it. Norm, here at Lynn Villa, we're, you know, you show us decor for Halloween because some people go above and beyond for Halloween. Halloween has become the second biggest holiday after Christmas for decorating. Wow. And for that reason, people are doing all different things. They're buying the pre-made decorations that we sell here. Okay. And now a lot of people want to go natural. So we grow these flowers here at Lynn Villa. Okay. And you can simply cut a pumpkin open, place the flowers into the pumpkin. That's simple. And then when you have a centerpiece at dinner, you can say you, you made the centerpiece yourself and it really sets off the table, and it gives a lot of pride in what you're doing. Okay, let's see some other stuff you guys have going on over here. Uh, yeah. Do, I'll go with these, something real simple for someone who doesn't feel like they can make a flower arrangement. Okay. You can simply cut the top off a pumpkin, buy a potted plant here at Lynn Villa, drop it in, it just gives a better look cool. for that plant. You take it out, you water it, drop it back in. Drop it right back in, you can water it right in the pumpkin. We have like accessories that just set off the pumpkin so you can have the artificial with the living and it just gives that real feel that you have added that extra bit bit to your decorating. Okay, now we were talking about this uh, pumpkin on a, a tree, on a stick, pumpkin yep. on a stick. This is pumpkin on a stick. This is actually a eggplant. Oh. It's been grown for years. It's a it's a bitter eggplant that has a, you know, a, a small following and then someone realized, hey, this looks just like a pumpkin. First year available here at Lynn Villa. And you put this on your table, and you're going to really set set apart from the neighbors. Now, is this edible? This is an edible eggplant. Okay, wow, all right. Okay, no, I was going to bite it. I was going to bite it. And we can do all of this right here. And save the kids. The kids want to uh, yep. get involved. We have all the supplies you need to cut your pumpkin open to, to help the kids, you know, clean it out, get them involved in the activity. We sell many different colored pumpkins that you don't find at all locations. We have white pumpkins always available, gray. You have the goose gourd different edible squashes, yeah. flowers, you know, anything you need to decorate your house for Halloween okay. and the fall season. Okay, and so so next hour, we're going to be doing a, a apple slinging? That's become one of the big popular activities out here where we take the apples that we fall off the trees onto the ground, which we're no longer allowed to use for cider. We pick them up, you put them into a slingshot and shoot targets oh, in the field. I can't wait. Okay, are, are we battling next hour? We'll see who hits the target. Okay, next hour. Apple We're going to battle, doing a little apple, yes. little apple slinger. Sounds little so Little apple fun. slinger. You see this? Little, mm -hmm. I feel like uh, city slickers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> little apple slinger, guys. Farmer Q is back. Yeah. Wheat stock there. Yeah. Right. yeah, yeah, nice. Yeah. <laughs>